Tonight, the forecast is urgent and distressing. This is a very, very bad scenario for us here. The kids were sleeping, thought everything was good, and uh, water starts coming in by my feet. So I go in and I tell Deborah, I say, hey, you know, get the kids, you know, it's, we're gonna flood, you're gonna have to go ahead and wake them up. She got the kids up, got them on the couch. Uh, next thing you know, the couch Next thing you know, the couch is floating. Oh, I'm sorry. Got the kids up uh, in the attic. Got a Trent. And a Peyton. And a Deborah. And a Chloe. We got an 18 inch porthole. We're gonna knock that out and beat the flashing down. So, I mean, we had a good, easy place to get out. So with the increase of uh, water, rising rate, uh, me and my family, we had to get up in the attic, including animals. Uh, called my union brothers uh, approximately three hours after that, right here to rescue me, uh, two boats. Um, and not only did rescue me, but myself, but we also spent seven hours in the neighborhood, uh, recovering a very elderly neighborhood, average age of possibly about 58. Speaking up on what it was like to see those boats pull up and those Union Brothers, as you can tell, a smile on my face. But there's no doubt in my mind when they told me they was going to be here that they wasn't going to arrive. We got to rebuild. I mean, it's like a, it's, it's, it's. Bare two by four. Bare two by four. The whole, it's gone. I mean, I, I dealt with a lifetime of loss. I was used to losing things. My kids ain't never had nothing taken from them. And now their whole lives. Uh... <clears throat> Every, you know, their whole lives is gone. The aftermath after Hurricane Harvey, the water is gone and cleared up. So we, when you're driving through, you don't see that visual effect of the hurricane. But if, you, if you're observing in the neighborhood, you see all of the trash, the sheetrock, the furniture, everything piled out front. This recovery effort is going to go on for, for months and months. Uh, today is the first day after four days of water recession to get in to actually start the cleanup process. Uh, as well, the Union Brothers stepped up again, two colleagues uh, uh, from my shift and from my unit, uh, Mr. Greg Minoy and Paul Crocker. Um, they've been contacting me every day since the event and everybody's here. Tomorrow there'll be even more out from the union to help us. We're just completely, probably about 90% demolished and damaged to where we have to actually gut the home and redo it. This is all sincerity, man. I mean, these cats, these cats have showed up. This is, this is not staged. This is, this is warmth and sincerity. I mean, I've cried many times and uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm all cried out right now. I hope I am. So uh, these guys out here today means more to me than anything, honestly. That's, that's the bottom line. Is our, our members all over this community stepped up into action. You've seen steel workers out uh, doing boat rescues. You've seen them out cleaning people's homes out and getting debris out. It just, uh, you know, it's just motivation. It's just a, it, it's a vitalization for our labor movement and where we're at. Certainly inspired me to get out and do the same, get into our union halls, get them cleaned out and functioning and get the supplies like you see behind me. It makes you feel good. Um, I saw it come together during strike and I was wondering if we'd be tested again. And it, every time we come up with controversy, it seems that we all bind together and help each other out. We received a load of uh, paper towels, paper products, canned goods, canned food, the whole nine yards from uh, International Paper, uh, all of our plants in Dallas-Fort Worth. The, the members volunteer to, uh, to help each other, right? It, this is uh, member-driven, always has been. In my heart, I just wanted to help people that, that's been damaged by something. You know, I, 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 when I grew up, I never really had nothing. And I'm part of this union, so, you know, it, it even feel even better, you know, brothers you know, to come out and help them, and you know, they're helping me too at the same time, you know. So, you know, it's just a, it's just a happy feeling, my brother, you know what I'm saying, just to 
do do my part, you know, even if it's just a small part, you know. Ben Lillianfield, our regional director, we were doing uh, our contract preparations and we were about to go to lunch and Ben said that we've got brothers that are in need, so we just came out and helped. And I think everyone should volunteer, no matter if it's helping for Harvey Relief or Special Olympics or whatever the case is, do your volunteer work. Uh, it, it sets a good example for the community. Wherever it may be, we can get to a FEMA hotel, but now we've got to find one. And so the union, Brother Birchfield is going to take care of that for us, uh, finding, finding us a place to go. So that's, that's, that's a big, big help. There's no doubt in my mind that when my union brother said, call us when you go to clean up, that they was not going to be here and all day in this fight. So that's huge to me. That's, that's brotherhood. That's brotherhood at its highest form and definition.